Director of the Office of the Shah. Um, and I have a very special uh, pleasure in welcoming my very dear old friend, Mr. Raj Nayak. He's a friend first and now head of the organization that uh, we all know as Colors. So I'm very happy to have him sitting right next to me. We were colleagues in advertising before, so as I said, our uh, relationship goes back many years. Thank you, Raj, very much. Not only for being here, but for the tremendous support that Colors have given us, and as I said, it's thanks to you that we are here today. And uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's wonderful to talk with us and, and all your colleagues. Some of them such generous people. I'll just see them all. Uh, we are, as I said from the beginning, being supported by the UNFPA. And uh, we thank the UNFPA team for their consistent support. And uh, I warmly welcome uh, Anuja, the state coordinator we all had. But especially, I must mention that Anuja Bulaki is the first person that I came uh, into contact with before I even thought of the name Population First. Once I retired from advertising with my entire main background, I decided to get into social issues. And by some fortunate uh, uh, incident, we, I met Anuja Gulati. And she has been my mentor, guide, and teacher uh, in every way. And I owe a lot to her. Anuja, thank you very much for everything that you've done for us. And of course, uh, last but certainly not the least, uh, I have extended a warm welcome to our very dear Dolly, uh, whom all of you know. Uh, all of you know her as a state of personality, but she is into so many different causes. She is really associated with two or three different uh, uh, NGOs also. But again, from the very inception, she has been a pillar of support to us. And uh, she has been a support to us not only financially, but her network is something which is absolutely amazing. I mean, if you ask Dolly her question and say, listen, we wanted to invite the Prime Minister of India uh, for a special function. It's going to take place three days from now. She has no hesitation. She immediately picks up her phone. I don't know how she gets through to him from three or four different contacts. And in about five minutes, she comes back and says, he's coming. That's the story for you. <laughs> uh, we at Population First, our main flagship program in large years ago, it's always uh, been my faith and belief that our women, in fact, not only in India, but practically all over the world, but more so in India, are, are a tremendous um, uh, managers, they are in many ways, uh, financially and in any other way, in my opinion, far superior to men. Uh, I'm not the kind men, uh, they also have their strength, but the point is, women being multitasker, which all of us know, uh, their capabilities, their understanding, their uh, empathy, their emotional uh, attachments, the causes, uh, and above all, as I said, their management skills. If you see anywhere, any organization, uh, women rise to the top, and those women entrepreneurs who are uh, at the top, uh, I still find very sorry that there is still a glass ceiling. But they would make far better managers than a lot of men that are around who will, who definitely try and stop them because they are really scared of them. That's my sincere opinion. But anyway, uh, they will come because they are fighters and they are uh, they are great breeds uh, of our freedom. Uh, now, coming to the Largely Media Award, as I said, I will uh, leave uh, Sharda to speak to you all about it. Uh, it really is all about, again, women power. The uh, awards are merely a platform to, uh, to encourage and to ensure our ultimate objective of ensuring that in our country 
women empowerment to come to reality. That is our real life with our people. And I hope that the larger media awards have been, in fact, contributing towards their cause. Uh, okay, uh, I think that's enough from me. Uh, over to you. Uh, thank you, Mr. Sister. Uh, good morning to all of you. I think I should say good afternoon. Uh, I'm really happy today because uh, we are announcing our uh, partnership uh, with Colors, which is joining us as a cost partner. And uh, uh, as you all know, Colors was the first TV to start uh, you know, socially relevant programs with uh, Bali Kavadu and uh, other programs. And the reason why we are happy is because media has a big role in uh, creating awareness, in challenging the social norms, and also in creating alternate role, in, uh, role models for the people. And um, yeah, we can always move beyond uh, what is uh, the norm and come up with themes and ideas which are very, very different and uh, which uh, make people sit up and think and uh, ask questions and, uh, you know, change their ways. So I'm very glad that uh, Colors is uh, joining us in this endeavor uh, in our LARP uh, uh, initiatives. And uh, we are also here today to launch our uh, LARP Media Awards uh, for gender sensitivity. As you all know, this is the 8th edition of our Nandi Media Awards. We have completed 7 editions. We started in 2007 as a Bombay centric event, then we went to become a national event in 2008. And I'm so glad that every year I get to see more and more good articles. I get more and more optimistic about our initiative. And uh, it is really exhilarating to see the kind of work you know, media is doing. Particularly, if you look at the age group of our uh, award winners, it will be around 28, 30. So I have a lot of hope for this country and I have a lot of hope for the media. The Ladley Media Awards are given across the country. It covers all the states and union territories. It is given in 13 languages and uh, it uh, includes print, electronic and web media. And uh, it also uh, covers various uh, journals or various types of writing, for instance, editorials, features, investigative reporting, etc., etc. Last year we have introduced, two years back we have introduced Chhattisgarhi as a language and I'm very happy to tell you that last year one of the Chhattisgarhi entries, electronic entry, won an award. So we would like, we believe that media can make a big difference and uh, what kind of entries are we looking out for is that we would like to have entries which are reporting on current events from a gender perspective, which are reporting on politics and economics from a gender perspective. We were just having a conversation. What is this whole scrapping of 500 and 1,000 rupee notes mean to a roadside vendor who is a woman? Okay, what does it mean to her? We need to know her story. Like it's okay, it's at a macroeconomic level. We are talking of uh, wiping off the. Uh, you know, uh, black money and other things. But how does it really affect different kinds of people and particularly women? Any policy, any program, any intervention has different impacts for men and women. And we should understand that because women have less access to institutions, particularly banks and jails and, I mean, police stations and courts and other things. So how do they, uh, how do they get impacted by any of these things? And second thing is, why we are all here, and we are all so different, Dolly is different, I am different, Anuja is different, those two beautiful girls, they are different, they have their aspirations, they have their, you know, uh, dreams, but it doesn't get reflected in the media. You have a typical victim, you have a typical self-sacrificing, unhappy, uh, you know, city that is there in women, which is, is it being reflected in the media. So if you have any stories which talk of exceptional women, not necessarily the celebrities, but you know that little that woman on the street, you know, who's selling vegetables and how is she impacted by these major economic uh, things. So we are talking of that. Any current events, whether it is disaster, slum rehabilitation, any of those things, they affect women differently. Because women 
are socially placed at a different position than men, and that position determines how they get affected. So slum rehabilitation has different implications for a woman than for a man. And your writing should bring that out. Calamity has a different impact for women than men. It is not a natural thing which affects everybody equally. It doesn't affect. As a woman, I have more constraints than a man. So how do we reflect those things? Alternate aspects, and we have this mindset that gender is only men and women. And you know, uh, uh, it, it doesn't mean anything more. But there is this whole, uh, uh, what you call, campaign that is happening about rights of the LGBT community. How do you write about that? What stand do you take? What is the new law of rape says? Or the sexual harassment in workplace? How do you report on those issues in a sensitive fashion? Budgets, they come but nobody represents or writes about it from a gender perspective. It's all about uh, you know tax, uh, tax exemptions, this, that. But how does it affect women? What is the money that is there under Nirbhaya fund? Is it being actually used? What is the fund available under PCP and DT? Because government has to put its money where its policies are, but it doesn't. You have a big, nice policy for, for prevention of domestic violence, but when it comes to actual allocation funds, there's hardly any. <coughs> Who is writing about that? Nobody is writing. I don't say nobody is writing. Very few people are writing. So we need to have more and more people writing, and we need to have that kind of a conversation happening in the public sphere. And who can do that? It's only the media which can do it. Because Mint has published a beautiful article when budget was released. Uh, and, and then they have identified where all the government needs to buckle up. And where they have fall, failed in you know, putting their money. And why they should put that money for the benefit of women. So that kind of a conversation, that kind of a discussion and, uh, is, is very much required in the public domain. So if you have articles which deal with any of these, or if you have found out something which is really discriminatory, like there was an article, very small, a small article which led to a change in the policy where SBI does not employ women if they are pregnant at the time of appointment. So they wait for them to you know, deliver the child and then they appoint, give the appointment letter because they don't want to bear the maternity cause before the immediately after she turns, which is a very discriminatory practice, which was highlighted in a paper and then there was a, a case and then finally SBI had to scrap the uh, rule. So what I'm saying is you can make, make a big difference and you can write with sensitivity to see that our policies, programs are sensitive. We have a more inclusive media where women are reflected in the right, in the right images and uh, through right images and we are able to make a big difference. So we will be unveiling the call for entries um, after uh, some time and uh, please do uh, publish uh, you know, details about the call for entries and ensure that more and more people apply for these awards because these are one of its kind awards in the world. Nowhere in the world you have awards which are exclusively for gender sensitivity. And uh, once again I uh, thank uh, of uh, colors, Mr. Raj Nayak, Sapangeet and all for joining us in this and other endeavors of Lali. And uh, I hope this year we have more than 1500 entries because last year we had 1500 entries. So every year I'm more and more optimistic. So I hope we have 2000 entries this year. Thank you. And uh, I know it was Raj, uh, Mr. Raj Nayak to say a few words. Oh. Uh, The men in my office will be very upset, but 70% of the workforce in colors are women. Just for just for a part. And we have two very beautiful young women here who it's they who make colors what we, we are today. I mean, uh, we have Jigasya who's uh, Tapki and we got Meeta who's Chakor, two of our very very popular programs. We got them here just to have some representation from the channel. Uh, but at Colors, as you've seen, you've seen some of the shows that we mentioned, we are very, very clear that as a broadcaster, besides entertaining, we also have a social responsibility to society. 
And in our own way, we try and do that. While we also do shows like Big Boss, we, you know, uh, and mentioning Big Boss because uh, that's the show currently on air. And if you don't haven't seen it, please do watch it. It'll add to my TRP. Uh, but but uh, having said that, we have identified and we do it as a conscious effort uh, to do shows which impact society and which impact women. You know. Uh, Whichever show we've done, and of late, the latest show that's on air, which is probably right now India's number one show, is a show on a transgender person, you know, Shakti. So, at any given point of time, we, we, are, the, we are the channel we did on video remarriage. We are the channel we did on child, uh, child marriage. So, at any given point of time as a channel, we believe that as a responsible broadcaster, we want to give back to society. We want to be a catalyst of change in our own little way. Uh, we are a business channel. I mean, we are a business-oriented uh, broadcaster. We are not a public broadcaster, so we have our limitations. But within that, we try and do as much as we can, and we are very, very happy. I have, uh, even though I have known his God to a lot of us in the advertising industry, when we were just passing out of college, you had Bobby Sista, an icon whom we looked up to, and I have very good fond memories of the press club because. When I started my career in Mumbai, I used to work for a newspaper, and those days we never used to have money. So I used to make friends, and those days I remember people like Ajit Pillay and Ashok Prabhakavi and a lot of journalists uh, who, were, who were seniors, and uh, I used to tag along with them to the press club for cheap booze and uh, free food. So, so I have fond memories of the press club. But coming back to uh, Ladley, uh, when uh, Bobby and Sharda came and met me for the first time, uh, I have been reading about Ladi, seeing what they do, see the tremendous amount of good work that they have been doing uh, and with uh, the UN supporting them. So when they spoke to us, actually it took us two minutes to say yes, that we want to partner you on this. And uh, am I right? Two minutes, yeah. Two minutes because we genuinely believe that if corporates and organizations come forward to support causes, you know, and I get, and the Prime Minister right now is talking about Swachh Bharat. I believe that if each corporate cleans up the area outside their office, in their area, half the job is done. We at Viacom have done that. And uh, again, I heard you, or I think somebody mentioned about SBI not appointing women uh, uh, if they were pregnant. Uh, it's, it's, uh, at Colors, I can tell you, we are probably India's first corporate, uh, uh, as Viacom 18, you know, uh, India's first corporate where we announced nine months pregnancy leave to women, okay, and, and they got uh, they got three months uh, unpaid leave for joining back recovery uh, period, and I was very very happy yesterday to see that the Tamil Nadu government has copied us. <laughs> you know, Jayalalitha has just announced that uh, all state employees of we also have paternity. Yes, we do have. I wish that was nine months. <laughs> yeah. But I can't get married and have more children, so that <laughs> it, uh, it doesn't impact me. But, 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 but again, I think, you know, it is so important uh, for organizations, whichever cause they are, and for us, because most of our content is targeted at women and things like that, so women issues becomes easier for us to relate to, and uh, that is something that uh, we will continue to do, and it's not just largely anything to do with women, uh, we have partnered with She The People TV, we have partnered with various organizations. We want to own the space in our own little way and give back to society what we get from there. And uh, we are very, very proud of this association. Thank you of, for thinking of us and uh, we hope this partnership will continue. We will make it bigger, better and uh, hopefully together we will uh, bring in a change in our own little way. Thank you very much. These are the people because of whom I get myself. Hello? Yeah, the two gorgeous women. May I request Jigasya from Thakki to say a few words? And uh, Mira from uh, Chakor. Come, please. I think we will leave the stage to you now. So, uh, I'm playing Thakki in Thakki Piyarki. So, uh, I feel very honored to be here because I got the opportunity to come to this association. And 
being the face of the colors yahan opportunity mili yahan aane ki aur lagli initiative hai jo bahut hi acha initiative hai thank you so much ma'am thank you so much sir ki colors represent kar rahe hain hum log aur hum yahan par hai so i'm feeling highly honored because thakki pyar ki jab maine start kiya tab hamesha se main ek aisa show karna chahti thi jo फीमेल ओरिएंटेड शो हो फीमेल प्रोटेगनिस्ट पे बेस्ड हो एंड uh, किस तरह से इस शो में ये दिखाया जाता है कि uh, जितनी भी चाहे फिजिकल डिसेबिलिटी हो एक लड़की के अंदर उसको हमेशा अपनी स्ट्रेंथ बना के अपनी जो जो भी वीक पॉइंट्स है उसको स्ट्रेंथ बना के उसको रिप्रेजेंट किया जाए और कलर्स uh, हमेशा से ही एक बहुत ही अच्छा प्लेटफॉर्म रहा है सर uh, एक वुमेन एम्पावरमेंट शोज के लिए so uh, yeah hi uh, my name is veera deosale and i play chakor and ran uh ye mere liye bhi bahut badi honor ki baat hai ki hame ye chance mila hum yahan aaj aaye nagdi ke sath associate hue colors ne aise bahut shows laaye hain jo women empowerment ki taraf bolte hain jaise ki balika vadhu ishq pyar उड़ान थपकी प्यार की शक्ति हर शो में एक अलग टॉपिक है जैसे हमारे शो में बंधा भी से रिलेटेड है कैसे बच्चों को बाल मजदूर बनाया जाता है एक लड़की अपने सपनों की उड़ान कैसे उड़ती है इस देश में हर लड़की का एक सपना है वो सपना सिर्फ फैमिली तक नहीं खत्म होता है वो भी कुछ करना चाहती है अपने लाइफ में आगे बढ़ना चाहती है तो हमने कोशिश की है कि हम उनको ये हौसला दें कि आप लड़ सकते हैं आप आप उस लेवल तक अपने आप को तैयार कर सकते हैं जहाँ हम कहते हैं कि मैन हैं आप और हमने प्रूव किया है हम हर एक फील्ड में आज लड़कियाँ बहुत आगे बढ़ी हुई हैं सो ऐसे हर एक शो में कलर्स में दिखाया जाता है एंड मीडिया uh, हमारी हेल्प करता है कि जहाँ तक हम ऑडियंस तक नहीं पहुँच पाते हैं uh, वहाँ मीडिया हमें पहुँचा देती सो इट्स इट्स एन ऑनर फॉर अस थैंक यू कैमरा मोबाइल Uh, just to let you know that the organization I represent, United Nations Population Fund, 
We believe in addressing gender discriminatory practices and really talk of men, women, and children having a life of equal opportunity and uh, also believe that every woman should live with dignity and respect. And it was, you know, with this vision that we actually began the Ladi Awards or we began supporting the Ladi Awards. Uh, we actually thought that by supporting the Ladi Awards, we will not only be felicitating those people who dared to bring out, like Sharda said, you know, the woman's part of the story or her part of the story, like you protagonists are in your wonderful shows. Uh, but also to encourage others to join this revolution and uh, uh, make gender, if we may say, a core journalistic value. And we are so happy today that the channel uh, which really believes in uh, giving back to society in terms of, you know, uh, the, the social responsibility is now associated and, you know, in that way we are also associated with you. So it's wonderful being here. Uh, and I, I can definitely tell you a lot that's happened in the media and to all of you uh, in terms of reporting on small issues like uh, sexual assault or rape, the way it has changed, I think, you know, a lot goes to Latvi. If you talk of advertisements, just, just one little statement that stereotypes that were being built to sell products started being broken to sell products. I and mean, you look at the Tanishka, the Hazel's ad, I mean, how those very stereotypes were being broken. Again, we go back to Lati. So, congratulations as, you know, you enter into another partnership. And uh, it's been lovely being, you know, in association. If you are. <laughs> it's good that we also have other partners. Congratulations. My mobile. 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 Excuse me. Mobile. Jafar. बहुत 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 हाईली प्रिविलेज फील कर रहे हैं बहुत ऑनर्ड फील कर रहे हैं यहाँ आकर इतना आई थिंक मुझे एस थपकी भी इतना ऑनर्ड फील नहीं होता जितना यहाँ क्यों रहा बिकॉज इट्स फॉर अ सोशल कॉज ऑफ कोर्स और जो लाडली एक इनिशिएटिव है पॉपुलेशन फर्स्ट जो एन है उनका इतना प्यारा इनिशिएटिव है लड़कियों के लिए लाडलियों के लिए सो बहुत ही उमदा है ये और जिस तरह से देखा जा रहा है आजकल सेक्स डिस्क्रिमिनेशन जो होते हैं फिलहाल कम हो गए हैं बिकॉज ऑफ द सोशल अवेयरनेस ऑफ कोर्स बट अभी भी हैं सो so, ये उसको और डिस्क्राइब uh, uh, करता है और बताता है कि ये नहीं होना चाहिए बिल्कुल भी नहीं इंडिया में ही नहीं कहीं पर भी नहीं होना चाहिए बिकॉज हमें भी जीने का उतना ही हक है जितना लड़कों को है एंड आई फील सर ने अभी अभी कहा था प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस में कि uh, लड़कियां ही लड़कों को बनाती हैं फीमेल्स आर द बिगेस्ट इन्वेस्टर्स और कहते हैं कि हर लड़के के पीछे एक लड़की का हाथ होता है सो या दैट्स ट्रू होता है बिल्कुल होता है सो आई फील दोनों को कंपेयर नहीं करके अगर इक्वल रखें तो वो लड़की के लिए भी उतनी ही अच्छी बात है जितना लड़के के लिए 
ये लाडली जो प्रोजेक्ट है ये बहुत अच्छा प्रोजेक्ट है कई बार ये होता है कि हमारी जो सोच है वो ऑडियंस तक नहीं पहुंच पाती क्योंकि ज़रूरी नहीं कि सब लोग कलर्स ही देखें लोग दूसरे चैनल्स भी देखते हैं तो हमारा जो नज़रिया है हमारी जो सोच है कि औरतों को इस तरह से इनक्रेज किया जाए वो अपनी ज़िंदगी में इस तरह से आगे बढ़े उनके साथ जो डोमेस्टिक वायलेंस है या सेक्शुअल असोल्ट है कुछ भी है वो उस वो उससे किस तरह से लड़े हम अपने शो में दिखाते हैं तो कई बार होता है कि हम उन तक नहीं पहुंच पाते हैं ये लाडली जो प्रोजेक्ट है ये एक आ, वैसे ही प्रोजेक्ट है लोगों में जागरूकता फैलाने के लिए और आप हमारे मीडिया वाले आप आ, उन तक ये बात पहुंचा देते हैं क्योंकि कहीं ना कहीं आ, लोग दोपहर को घर में बैठकर ज़रूर देखते हैं यार शाम को घर आने के बाद न्यूज़ तो ज़रूर ही देखते हैं तो इनडायरेक्टली उन तक हमारी बात पहुंच जाती है भले वो हमारी सीरियल देखे ना देखे और हम यही कहना चाहेंगे कि आ, हमें अपनी नज़रिया बदलना चाहिए हमें अपनी सोच बदलनी चाहिए लड़कियाँ उतनी ही इम्पॉर्टेंट है जितने लड़के हैं लड़के इम्पॉर्टेंट है बट लड़कियाँ भी उतनी इम्पॉर्टेंट है वो उतना ही हुनर रखती हैं वो उतना ही करके दिखा आ, वो अपना टैलेंट दिखा सकती हैं तो लेट्स एनकरेज वुमेन थ्रू लाडली ओके जो भी आपने अभी कमियां बताई जैसे कि डोमेस्टिक वायलेंस हो गया सेक्शुअल असोल्ट या सारी ऐसा कोई पर्सनल एक्सपीरियंस रहा आपका या ऑब्जर्वेशन रहा जो आप शेयर करना चाहेंगे हमारे साथ मैं अपने शो की बात करूंगी मेरे साथ ऐसा पर्सनल एक्सपीरियंस तो नहीं हुआ है मगर शो में जो मेरे पति प्ले करते हैं वो उन्होंने दो बार मुझसे ज़बरदस्ती करने की कोशिश की ऐसा हमने सीन दिखाया है कि सूरज चकोर को ज़बरदस्ती करने की कोशिश करता है शराब के नशे में आकर तो उस वक्त हमने उसके बाद एक सीन शूट किया जहां हमने दिखाया कि चकोर अपने आप को किस तरह प्रिपेयर करती है सेल्फ डिफेंस के लिए तो यही हम बताना चाहते कि लड़कियाँ लाचार नहीं हैं आप उन तक वो सोर्सेस दें अगर उन्हें हम प्रॉपरली ट्रेन करें सेल्फ डिफेंस के लिए जो जितने भी केसेस होते हैं लड़कियां अगर सेल्फ डिफेंस करना जानती हैं अगर आवाज़ उठाना जानती हैं 90 परसेंट ऑफ द टाइम ये होता है कि लड़कियां चुप रह जाती हैं बोल नहीं पाती क्योंकि हम उन्हें बोलने नहीं देते आवाज़ नहीं उठाने देते तो अगर हम उन्हें वो देंगे कि आप बोलिए आप तो वो बोलेंगी और जितने भी केसेज़ हैं वो सब बाहर आएंगे एक्शन्स लिए जाएंगे और uh, उन्हें इंसाफ मिलेगा तो यही हम अपने शो में भी दिखाने की कोशिश कर रहे हैं एंड बीइंग एन एक्टर एक्टिंग करते वक्त जो फीलिंग हुई मुझे उस वक्त मैं नहीं चाहती कि किसी भी लड़की को रियल लाइफ में ऐसी फीलिंग आए इसलिए uh, ये हमारे लिए बहुत बड़ा कॉज है कि हम लड़कियों तक औरतों तक बच्चियों तक पहुँचे और उन्हें बताएं कि अपने हौसलों की उड़ान उड़ते रहिए और आगे बढ़ते रहिए एब्सल्यूटली करेक्ट बिल्कुल इस कॉज से हम ये बता सकते हैं जो जिनकी आवाज़ दबी हुई है आज तक जो बोल नहीं पाते बिकॉज बोलने नहीं दिया जाता ऑफकोर्स जैसे मीरा ने कहा बिल्कुल सही कहा बोलने नहीं दिया जाता है लड़कियों को और ये ऐसा इनिशिएटिव है इससे हिम्मत आएगी हौसला आएगा कि नहीं हम भी कुछ कर सकते हैं हम भी बोल सकते हैं या ओके आखिरी में आपसे रिएक्शन जाना चाहेंगे जो भी मुद्दे होते हैं जो भी कमियां होती हैं उनमें हमारी जो करेंसी है खासतौर पर वो भी मायने रखती है जो चेंजेस आए हैं जो गवर्नमेंट का जो डिसीजन आया आपका कोई रिएक्शन कल हम सब ऐसे थे क्या हो गया बिकॉज हमारे पास चेंज कल में नहीं था थी हम सब लाइन बट आई एम तो वेरी अच्छी बात हुई है ब्लैक मनी इससे हमारा पूरा देश का बाहर आएगा सो हैथ सॉफ्ट नरेंद्र मोदी जी बट बट कहा था एक रात में सरकार बदलेगी मेरे पास एक भी सौ की नोट नहीं बिल्कुल सिर्फ पाँच सौ हजार पड़े और अब वो बैंक में जमा करवाने जाना है तो कल शूट आई नहीं जाएंगे हम आई थिंक पता है सच में ऐसा होना चाहिए था और एकदम से होना चाहिए था बिकॉज लोग प्रिपेयर कर लेते हैं खुद को टाइम नहीं मिला तो बहुत अच्छी बात है कि सो लोग लोग काफी ज्यादा पैनिक कर रहे हैं आपकी बात कौन पैनिक करता है जिनके पास आम जनता पैनिक नहीं करती जिनके पास काला धन होगा वो पैनिक कर रहे होंगे यही कहेंगे फैंस को और सारे लोगों को कि जो भी चेंज आया है विश्वास रखिए आप 
एब्सोल्यूटली करेक्ट जो भी चेंज आया उसमें बिलीव रखिए आज एक हफ्ता बुरा लगेगा कि 500 का नोट है आपके पास बट उसको प्लीज बैंक में डिपॉजिट कराइए एंड द चेंजेस फॉर गुड और ये एक अच्छे कॉज के लिए ही चेंज आया है काला धन बाहर आएगा जिससे ब्लैक yes. मनी जो भी रख रखा है अपने ब्लैक मनी वो बाहर डिपॉजिट <laughs> <laughs> कीजिए जाके <laughs> या चकुर, चकुर. येस uh, yes, uh, मैं जिज्ञासा जो कह रही है अग्री करती हूँ गवर्नमेंट uh, ने जो भी किया है बहुत सोच समझ के किया है और ये बहुत अच्छा हो कि उन्होंने हमें टाइम नहीं दिया रिएक्ट करने के लिए uh, बहुत फास्ट एक्शंस लिए गए हैं uh, हमें टोल पे भी रोका गया था <laughs> वापस भेजा जा रहा था <laughs> कि सौ की नोट दो <laughs> तो सो डोंट वरी ये हमारे बस कुछ दिन की मुश्किल है uh, उसके बाद चीज़ें बिल्कुल नॉर्मल हो जाएंगी जैसे थी और आई थिंक चीज़ें और बेटर हो जाएगी थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच